Your MakerBot Replicator 2 Desktop 3D Printer is an easy to use machine that requires a simple occasional maintenance routine. In this video, I'll show you how to lubricate the threaded rod and clean out the drive gear. Always make sure that your MakerBot Replicator 2 is turned off and unplugged when you're going through this maintenance routine. We've made the MakerBot Replicator 2 Desktop 3D Printer even easier to maintain than the first generation MakerBot Replicator by adding oil impregnated bearings on pretty much all of the rods. The only rod that isn't self-lubricating is this threaded one at the back of your machine. If your MakerBot Replicator 2 ever starts squeaking at you, it's probably time to lubricate that rod. Take a very small amount of the PTFE-based grease that came in your accessories bag and use a gloved finger to work the grease into the threads. You'll also want to lubricate the x-axis idler pulley, which is located here on the left side of your machine. Just squeeze a small amount of the PTFE-based grease directly on the tiny bit of exposed shaft here and move the pulley back and forth to spread it around. The MakerBot Replicator 2 Desktop 3D Printer has an updated extruder that lasts longer with fewer jams. If you ever find that the MakerBot PLA filament you're using isn't coming through the extruder when it should, it may be time to clean out your extruder's drive gear. The drive gear is the part of the extruder that moves the filament down through the nozzle. Sometimes it can get clogged with tiny bits of PLA. To clean it out, we'll have to open up your extruder. But before you begin, make sure you unload the filament from your extruder. You can do this by going to Utilities on the main menu and selecting Filament Options, and then Unload. Once you've removed the filament, turn off your machine and wait a few minutes for your extruder to cool down. Now take a look at the front of your extruder. Use the 2.5 millimeter hex key from your accessories bag to unscrew the two bolts in the lower corners of the fan. These bolts are pretty long, so it may take a bit of turning. When you get them loose, just pull these three pieces out with the bolts in one chunk. It helps to keep them assembled and set them aside like this. Now just disconnect the motor cable here and pull the stepper motor out to the side like this. This right here is the drive gear, and it's covered in tiny bits of filament. Take a small brush and brush away the filament bits. Once it's clean, reassemble your extruder by sliding the stepper motor back into place, reconnecting the motor cable, and replacing the two screws at the front of the extruder. While the powder-coated steel frame of your MakerBot Replicator 2 makes it an incredibly sturdy machine, it's still a good idea to check the tightness of a few screws while you're doing your maintenance routine. These screws on top hold up the gantry, which is a network of rods that allows your extruder to move around. You can tighten these bolts using the two millimeter hex key from your accessories bag. The final step in the maintenance routine is to sweep out any bits of PLA that may have accumulated on the floor of your MakerBot Replicator 2 to keep it nice and tidy. If you encounter anything unexpected while operating your MakerBot Replicator 2, be sure to contact our expert support team by emailing support at makerbot.com. They're available Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m.